Jose Bodeco, Sisi of Capacitor, the Union of the Atome, the Presidente, 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 the It's interesting that that game was firstly created as a catechetical tool for children. The snake being, of course, the devil who tempts us to sin. And the ladder is, of course, the stairway to heaven. Today, on the fourth Sunday of the Great Fast, we commemorate St. John of the Ladder, who wrote the book, The Ladder of Divine Ascent, to guide monks 
step by step to a life of greater holiness. We remember him today because we are called, all of us, to pick ourselves up every time we slide and to start back on that ladder and to keep climbing every day of our lives. The first step of which St John speaks is a recognition of our own weakness, of our imperfection, of our sinfulness. It is only then that we can start to climb. From time to time we slip, but we pick ourselves up again and keep on climbing. Today's Gospel also shows us how in our weakness, in our fragility, in our brokenness, we can achieve great things. When the father of the young man who is possessed by a demon approaches Christ, because the apostles at that stage did not have the faith strong enough to heal this boy. Jesus asks, do you believe for all things are possible? And the man cries out, Lord, I believe, help me in my unbelief. What are we hearing here? A contradiction. You either believe or you don't. But is it really that simple? For those of us who are honest in our hearts, who have undertaken that first step of the ladder, will say, this man, this father of the boy, speaks for me, for all of us. When he says, Lord, I believe, help me in my unbelief. Because that is the reality of our life. And it's only when we fully trust in Christ that the believing bit gets bigger and the unbelieving bit gets smaller and we start climbing up that ladder higher and higher and higher. And yes, from time to time we will stand on a snake and slip back down a bit. But we get up and we keep going. When we have faith, when we acknowledge who we are and that we can't do it on our own, we keep going up. There are now two weeks left before we celebrate Palm Sunday. If we haven't yet begun our Lenten journey, it is never too late, as John Chrysostom reminds us in his homily on Easter Sunday. But let us use the time ahead wisely. Let us remember that when we have faith, we can achieve many things. But to have true faith, we must also acknowledge our weakness, our sinfulness, but the hope of a better tomorrow. During the Vileki Pist, we do poklone prostrations to the floor. And they are very much a symbol, not only of our penance, of our sorrow, but they are a symbol of life itself. We fall on our knees and place our heads on the floor. But we do not stay in that position. We get back up. And that's what even the weakest of faith allows us to do. To get back up. 
So whilst life is full of ups and downs, even if we have the faith the size of a mustard seed, there are always more ups than downs. Vimya otsia isena iskatohotuka amin. Slava Isusu Christu. Slava Naviki.